Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about WPFY uh, and Revit 25. Yep, let's update this project to work with Revit 25 and uh, update the library to uh, make work at least. Uh, at the moment, this uh, main version, version 3.04, does not work with Revit 25. We're going to show uh, why. I already did a pull request to fix that, but I'm still waiting for a new version. Anyway, uh, I kind of create my own version here. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to install that in my project and use that to make that sample works in Revit 25. So let's uh, go inside the Revit and uh, see what I already changed in that project. So if I go here and go in adding, I have basically this two button right now. I have the main one that the same one that I can swap between uh, dark and light mode. I'm using version 24 at the moment. So if I use the simple one, it's basically the same thing, but I don't have the, the header, I guess. So it's a simpler one. So yeah, and that's basically it. Uh, if I, let's close this and open Rev25 and show what gonna happen. Uh, if I open the the main one, my Rev is gonna crash because uh, it does not find the, the location of the the library and so on I'm gonna crash gonna have some exception and I'm gonna basically break my rabbits uh the the other one uh gonna work but uh, the style is not gonna be loaded properly so let's show and so clicking here and click in adding and clicking the simple one I basically have this one yep everything is is, is black because of the background is black and I have the basically this button, so it's not working. If I click in the main, I'm gonna crash my gravity. Uh, let's open a project in here. And one thing I can do uh, to fix that, I can show. Uh, the main problem is that uh, the way the library works. So if I open the project in here, uh, I could force it to inject uh, these two uh, styles in my main current application, this should gonna work. At least you're gonna fix the problem. Actually, I should, let's change to version 25 here. Yep. Let's rebuild that. Uh, if I do that, uh, this should reload. And if I click in, in here, uh, this should be working fine. Yep, great. And if I click in this one, this should work. In... Uh, it's not working, why not? That's kind of odd. Yeah, stop working for some reason. Anyway, uh, but if I try to open open my rev to look up, uh, this is gonna crash. Yep. And if I open my, my plugin app loader, the style could change because I'm applying the style in our uh, the whole Revit, I guess. Yeah. And by default, we're gonna apply some stuff that should not be applying. That so that's a problem. That using this approach. Yep. I'm gonna remove this and rebuild that. Uh, this should uh, make clear that because I'm removing the style in the end. This should uh, start working again. Yep. And this should, yeah, this is going to be the kind of working, but yeah, uh, it's missing some style. And if I open this, this should break for sure. So let's update. Uh, that's basically the problem with the library. Uh, I already update the uh, pull request, but I'm still waiting for the update. But if I I could, uh, let's just add this uh, just to rev having that. So let's remove this. I don't need that anymore. Just just for testing and show what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna rebuild this. Uh, Great. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna install my uh, my own library that I created. So uh, this is that. I'm gonna download this and install in my project. Uh, in this case, in my project, so if I open that, I install this nuget.config. That basically uh, gonna be in here. If I can show, yep. Basically, I have some configuration to add some local. Uh, package source, basically in this folder, the reference. And if I go in here, I already download and put in that. That's basically this package. So if I go in my main project, where is it? 
I'm opening and closing a lot of things. But if I go in here and find my my package, my package ref reference for the WPF Y, I'm gonna add in front for Revit, basically like this. This is the new uh, idea, I guess, that I add in that project. And that by the by default gonna find my my package. Yeah, that's my version. So if I build that, this already have the stuff that I already fix the problem with Rev25. And if I uh, do that, uh, open Revit, everything should work fine. And if I open the simple, uh, this should be working. So I can swap that. Great. And if I go on my main as well, I can swap this pretty fine. So everything is working pretty great, I guess. Uh, and I should open this, it should work in as well for some reason. Yeah, that's basically it. So if uh, now it's working fine, that's the idea. So I can basically swap this for this package and should work. I could put this in the new gets, maybe. If you want something like that, put uh, a comment. So yeah. And that's basically it. Uh, one thing I need to do as well, I need to, if I publish this, I need to add my package as well. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna open my git ignore in here. Yep. I need to add the package in that. So yeah, like this. This should send my package to my GitHub and in that i can basically build a project and not gonna fail and if i go in my project as well yeah just to show uh i basically have yeah that's the name of the version yeah. this is the package i change the assembly everything to not interfere with the main package i guess yeah and this is gonna be unique and should work with the other one as well. So yeah, that's the idea. And yeah, that's that's basically it. I'm gonna update this and uh, update, I guess, the reference in the main project. And yeah, if you can use that, gonna be good to go. So thanks for watching and see you. Bye bye.